I'm, we're up here in the Orkney Loft at St Procolo in Bologna and it's the most unusual and beautiful organ. It's from 1580, so it's from it's nearly 500 years old from start, built by Malamini back in then, and it's restored 10 years ago. Now for us as English organists it's quite tricky because the pedals, if you look down at the pedals, are completely different from what we have in England. Um, not only do they have a different length and a different shape, so you put your foot down and you play something completely different, but actually they play different notes from what you might expect as well. So if I, if I draw one of the pedal stops here, um, what looks like a C plays an E. What looks like an F sharp plays a D. So you actually go from the bottom, it goes C, F, D, It's all the same as you go along, but it's got some absolutely beautiful sounds. And I'm going to play four little solos in tonight's concert using some of the different sounds that you've got. One piece, I'm going to use just a little tiny flute, um, which is a nice high stop, which sounds a bit like this. Beautiful, beautiful, pure sound that sounds as good as it did 430 years ago when the organ was built. And uh, the last solo I'm going to do is a piece that was written by an Italian composer at the time that this organ was built, pretty much, in the 1500s. And I'm going to use quite a lot of the stops. And I'm going to use the pedals. And I'm going to hope that I press the right pedals at the right time. And I'll just play you a little bit, just so that you get the sense of it, but it's a magisterial sound. about being filmed I've got to keep my concentration absolutely on the job later on and another little surprise we're going to have for everybody later on is this rather unusual stop which is the nightingale stop but if I move this little lever up here you get a little bird effect we don't have one of the moves on the organ at Hereford but I think there's always a time to get one <laughs> that'll be our next project anyway thank you